So in the last video, we talked about default lighting, ground shadows, full shadows, and the viewport. In this, we're going to start by creating lights, and we're going to see the effect of different lights. The first one I'm going to create is a distant light, which is not really encouraged from AutoCAD's point of view, but one of the first things you need to do is go ahead and turn off the default lighting. And uh, AutoCAD does not want you to use distant lights, so you have to use your judgment about whether or not you really want to do that. But I'm going to go ahead and allow it. The next thing is to either give an idea of where the light's coming from and to. Now, the this is not really adjusting the closeness of the light to the source, uh, but a vector is really all you need. So if you, and it's a vector of not where it's coming from, but where it's going to. So if I wanted it to go sweep downward um, from the left to the right, uh, according to the x-axis, and maybe um, in the positive y direction, in the negative z direction, I might want to go ahead and say vector one comma one comma negative one, and then hit the enter key. Now, it doesn't look like anything really changed, but let's see what the rendering did. I'm sorry, let's go to the perspective view and render. And it looks a lot like the default light. So let's make sure I didn't leave that default lighting on. It, it, it's still listed as on. So even though I told it to turn it off, it's, it was remaining on. Now with a distant light in it, hey, we have full shadows. So let's render it again and see how that compares. It should look a little different. So there's the changed view. So all the shadows are going to be parallel to one another. So the lines going connecting the points, casting the shadows, and the shadows as they cast on a surface should be straight lines, and they're all parallel lines. That's what distant light is for. You can still control the exposure to make it lighter or darker. And you may want to go ahead and add materials to get, add contrast to the, to the scene. So here we see, we're just adding a little contrast. The objects cast the shadows look a little different. They set off from the floor. So that's distant light. If you want to know what lights are in the scene, then go ahead and use the downward right arrow here, which turns on the light lister. Distant lights have no glyphs, so you can't delete them from the scene. No matter how far away I zoom out, I won't see a distant light. So the light lister is the only way to delete. Now you can have a distant light in combination with other lights, say to simulate light coming through a window, uh, if you want. But it would not be the sun. Let's go ahead and delete it for now. And it switches back to default lighting. So next we're going to create a point light. And I'm going to put that light at uh, 0, 0, 0, which is right at the plane. When everything goes dark, and you can see the light shining up through that plane, if I were to hide that plane object, you would see that the underside of this is lit. I'm not sure why this isn't being lit very well. The cube should have some light. But I'm going to move that light up to, let's say, 108 inches. That's about 9 feet high, and you can see it. Let's go to the exposure control, make sure we've got good. And looks like it's coming from the top. Let's unisolate the floor and let's go to rendering. You can see it's, it's pretty dim. Now, how do we make the scene brighter? Well, we could, we could change the exposure to brighten it up, or we could change the properties of the light. So the light properties can be adjusted and I guess that's about 65 watt bulb and so a candela is a unit in the international system. Lumen is the unit 
in the English system and you could switch it so everything's or we can measure it in the luminance so let's just keep it where we've got it candela in the in international system lumens in the English system and when that's a, a measure of the luminous intensity of the light so I could crank that up or I could just change the exposure so just changing the exposure and rendering it makes the scene look brighter and it's probably simpler now let's add a box to the scene on this side and you can see the light the same light casts its shadow away from itself so let's do a cylinder so notice that a point light casts its shadow in all directions if I copy a point light then I have two sets of shadows if I copy those two lights copy those two lights I have more shadows so as I render it takes a little bit longer to render the scene with more shadows but it's more typical of what you'd actually see in a real room that's area lit so I would for now just put a light just at or below where you're actually drawing the physical lamp by the way how do we make the physical lamp appear in the scene did you notice that it didn't show up in the render so lights themselves don't show up if I wanted to draw a sphere at this light insertion point and let's make that sphere have a diameter of six inches now if I render it one of the shadows is now gone from the scene because this light is being obscured by the sphere itself but you can add a generic material and in the material properties you can make it transparent and let's go ahead and crank the transparency up to a hundred I see that light coming from this direction onto that but still doesn't look quite right and that's because even though I have created the material I haven't added it to the scene yet so let's just select that sphere and right click and assign that to the selection and then re-render now I can see that and I can see a hint of where that light is now we could also make that material self illuminating so we turn on the self illumination and I would keep it dim and I'm not even sure I'd have it cast any luminance but as you see you change different panels it automatically casts luminance but this can confuse the renderer so let's go ahead and render that and you can still see now it looks like the light is actually glowing so it does take a little work after you add a point light to create a holder or a lamp shade or globe for the light.